Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at another type called double. So um, you might wonder what you're supposed to do if you have a floating point value. So instead of having 7 or 5 or 1329 or whatever, you have something like, let's say, 8.3, something with a point in it. And for that there's another type that you can use called double. In fact, there are um, at least two different types. Well, in a way, there are a number of different types you can use to do all of these things, but we're, we're just covering the most, some of the most basic, most common, most fundamental types here. And incidentally, before I get started, I just want to point something out, which I'm going to return to later, um, which is that if you have multiple projects like this, then... Um, you you want to make sure that you're always running what you think you're running. It's a bit easy to get into the habit of clicking that run button and then running the wrong thing by accident. And to be sure, um, select the class, um, so app.java in this case, containing your main method before you hit the run button. And if you want to be absolutely sure, select it, right click it, go to run as Java application, and then you you absolutely know what you're running Otherwise, you can get quite confused quite easily. Um, also, by the way, you, you can, not only can you sort of contract projects like this, but you can right-click them and close them like this. Go to Close Project. And then you can open them again later when you want to. We're going to look at this stuff more later on anyway. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so doubles. If you want a floating point value, you can't use the type int. So... Um, I can't write int, uh, what, what should we have here? Maybe height equals 1.8. So that, that's not going to work. We get a, an error here. And if I hover over the error, it says type mismatch. Cannot, cannot convert from double to int. So this is a what we call a literal value here. It's, um, we can also say that it's hard-coded. It's a value that I've actually coded into my computer program, a literal value hard-coded value. And uh, intrinsically, by default, it has the double type because it's got a point in it. We need to use the double type to, to store it. Uh, incidentally, in the USA um, and the UK and some other places, we use a point. So we say 1.8, that sort of thing, to indicate fractional values like 0.8. Um, large parts of Europe apparently use a comma uh, so, uh, but we don't do that in Java. As far as I know, all, all versions of Java are the same. We use a point to indicate a fractional value. Okay, so let's write here double. Now we've got something that will actually work. Now we've, we've only now we've we've just got a warning, um, which is saying that we're not using it. And we can output that out just as we did with integers. So um, let's say height is plus height. And let's try running that. There we go, height is 1.8. Um, we're going to uh, start doing some stuff with this, but I'm going to leave it there for this tutorial. Try that out. Check you can declare double values. You can always put more of them in the same program as long as you give them different names. Um, but do have a go at it. And uh, we're going to look later on also at some general tips that you should use when programming and some tips for following this course. But at the moment, I'm just concentrating on getting you started with the most important things. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.